access to the Pico PSU uh, bought it from Lazada. It is a 12 volt DC input, and I am not familiar with um, um here, so I did uh, as you see from the previous demonstration. We see that uh, this uh, power supply is connected to AC just to simulate the power that we can get. This uh, output, uh, sorry, this output a 12 volt 3 amp R. And received by this Pico PSU. And as you can see, I'm currently installing the Windows Server 2012 R2 using this motherboard. Mini, mini, it's a mini ITX motherboard, salvage from a uh, old computer. As you can see, it has a uh, I uh, forget. It's a one gig RAM or two gig RAM. But to be sure, I think it's a uh, one gig RAM and the uh, power. Uh, the CPU is 1.63 gigahertz, and by the way, the RAM has up only 533 megahertz speed. And as you can see, we also have a 36 300. Uh, this is a Samsung hard disk, uh, mini hard disk drive. Uh, that uh, it's a 320 gigabyte and the Pico PSU is still running a bit I've been running this Pico PSU for about an hour just uh, by installing this uh, Windows server and this motherboard has only at uh, 100 megabit LAN speed and it's good for running your own server because I'm, I am planning to migrate my server this is my web server 2.0 my first server is a simple laptop a notebook I'm sorry this is the simple notebook that I did use and this is a small neon notebook which is also a one core CPU and a 2 gig RAM I think it's a 1.8 gigahertz Intel and this has serviced me for about a year and a half uh, and then I migrate and bought a motherboard gigabyte motherboard which has a 1 gigabit uh, transfer speed on LAN it has a 2.3 gigahertz uh, dual core, but preferably it should be an Intel Xeon uh, because uh, Intel Xeon, I think it's the best CPU for a uh, web server or any type of server, and it is designed for uh, running a uh, web server. As you can see, this uh, motherboard has uh, four. Uh, for slot for RAM and uh, I am impressed with this motherboard as it has a capacity uh, uh, or uh, a feature where you can uh, that white RAM slot is a DDR2 and that the blue RAM slot uh, is a DDR3 but you cannot run both DDR2 or DDR3 at the same time Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click subscribe. More to come. Click here to play this video.